I was getting bullied for my skin color. I felt ugly. So I started a non-bullying campaign to empower other children. Bye. <laughs> my name is Karis Rogers. I started my own personal clothing line called Flux in My Complexion to make people feel comfortable in their skin. Fashion makes me feel more like me. I love my style and I am so comfortable in my skin color. I just love that I'm different from everyone else. My mom is like my number one fan, like I just love her. She's so positive, she always keeps it real. She always says, it doesn't matter what you look on the outside, it matters what you look like on the inside. My message to other kids who have been really like I have is it doesn't matter what other people say about you. <laughs> never give up on yourself and never stop dreaming. You are creative, you are smart, you are special. You are enough just the way you are. Thank you for giving me this inspiration. Five cents. Five cents. Ten cents. My name is Ryan Hickman. I am seven years old. And I'm the president of Lions Recycling Company. I've been recycling since I was three and a half years old. I get my recycling from my neighbors and my customers. Oh, thank you. I recycled 200,000 cans and bottles. I made about $21,000. My parents want me to save my money for college, but I want to save it for a garbage truck. Starting your own business is not that hard. I could barely hold it. What I'm doing keeps balls and cans out of the ocean. That helps the environment. I think more young people like me should start recycling. If you are recycling, just keep up the good work. When I tell people I'm a dancer, I get negative feedback. It's sad. My name is Gabe. I'm 11 years old and I'm a ballet dancer. It's not only a sport, it's an art. It's some way to put your emotions into movement. It takes a lot of brain power and memory to remember all the routines and perfect them. When I walk into class and I see that I'm the only boy there, it doesn't affect me. Of course, I would love for more boys to be encouraged to dance, but most boys just think in one direction. Dancing is for sissies. It's girly, but it takes as much effort to be a football player as it is for a dancer. It probably takes more effort to be a dancer than a football player. I want to say to the boys out there who are too scared to express their passion for dance, it doesn't matter what other people think. It matters what you want, what your inner passion is, and you should reach for that. If you can dream it, you can do it. I started one cap at a time. I'm Sammy, I'm nine years old. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I recycle cats to make buddy benches. The benches are made by bringing bottle caps down. You melt the bottle caps into benches and then put them into schools. Then somebody's lonely, they could sit on the buddy bench. Then somebody else could come up to them. They can meet new friends that way. Want to play? Yes. We collected 1,600 pounds of plastic caps. I got caps from all of the states and Africa, Israel, Germany, and a lot more. Adults could use buddy benches because a lot of adults are lonely. They could use somebody to drink coffee with. <laughs> Being included is so important. Can I sit on it? I'm Campbell, I'm 13 years old, I live in Tasmania, Australia, and I make teddy bears for kids in hospitals that have cancer, that have finished chemo and need a break. I was nine years old when I started my project, and it started by asking mum if we could buy presents for kids in hospital, and mum said, oh, we couldn't afford that because we had nine people in the family. So I said to mum, I'll make them then. Well, making my first teddy bear, it took me ages so much reading and cutting out, but I did it. And I made this scrappy bear. And now I've sent bears to Pakistan, China, Beijing, Paris, and lots of other places. They've gone everywhere around the world. When I passed my first bear over, it was a nice feeling. It was a good feeling and they smiled and that made me feel good. I don't think I'll ever stop doing my project.
Instead of asking your parents to raise your loans, you can make your own by flipping houses. My name is Aliana Pine. I'm nine years old and I flip houses. Me and my cousin have made $323,000 from just a little bit of muscles. First, I check the house for any problems us kids can't handle. This is need to fix. Buy the house demo. That's my favorite part. Then build back up again. The profit is given back to the community. But I put aside some of it to be a fashion designer. Kids always have energy. So channel that energy to give back to the community. You can accomplish more than you could even imagine. Just make sure you are ready to conquer the world. For sale! The car is quite literally one with your body. Like you can feel those subtle changes through your butt. My name is Aurora Strauss in Cold Spring, New York, and I am the only professional teenage female sports car racer in North America. You guys want to get in? Racing is a full-time job. The cockpit can reach 130 degrees Fahrenheit. If 1% of your focus is elsewhere, you are going to crash. Some racers are hands down the smartest people that I've met in my entire life, including people at Harvard. They essentially have multiple engineering degrees. I'm learning how you can gain that extra tenth of a second. I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> My favorite part about being a race car driver is the girls that I get to meet who think of me as role models. They didn't know girls were allowed to race. They always use the word allowed. It pains me every time hearing that word. Trash is our enemy. We're night time warriors. Who's with me? Yeah! My name is Connor. I'm 11 years old, and I'm the microactivist. Who to pick up some trash? A microactivist is a kid who cleans up the ocean. I've been picking up trash on the beach since I was five years old. My mission is to protect sea creatures in the ocean. I love the beach, the water, diving, and seeing all the animals. It's just the home to me. My organization has gotten 19,000 pounds of trash off the beach. I like inspiring kids so they help the environment. I won the Young Hero of the Year Award at the Pacific Aquarium. Most kids, they don't care about the ocean, but after they meet me, they will. Go, 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 go! They're gonna grow up, and they're gonna protect the ocean. They're my soldiers, and I'm the general. Got a few more troops coming. I'm making the world a better place. You can't protect what you don't understand, and that's our main goal, educating. If you don't protect the environment, bad things will happen. My name is Robbie Bond. I started an organization called Kids Speak for Parks dedicated to educating kids about the importance of the environment and the national parks. Some people believe that fossil fuels and natural resources are a good source of power, but I don't believe that. This stinks! I believe that the natural resources and fossil fuels should not be mined at the expense of our national parks and monuments. And I hope that people won't hurt the environment anymore. I believe we need to make sure that President Trump doesn't get rid of 27 of our national monuments by making sure that our army of voices stand up and speak for the parks. I'm really hoping that they'll be around for my kids and my kids' kids. I think that kids should see me as a role model and try to be even better than me because the world really means a lot to me. In a village where no one can teach you how to DJ, I practice and practice, and here I am today. Let's go! My name is Erica Amabra Bulutando. I'm 10 years old from Ghana, and I'm a DJ. Being a DJ in Ghana is hard. You need attitude like, yo, yo, so the crowd will feel what you're doing. Because I have a dream of touching the mood of the whole world, from sad to happiness. My community encourages me to keep on doing what I'm doing. I balance being a kid, as DJing, with school work, because I have a dream of being a gynecologist. I was doing charity for disabled. The response has been so massive. So many people think kids can't accomplish anything, but giving up is never in my dictionary.